the Shimano Chronarch, Shimano SLX, the Corrado DC, Corrado K, the Calcutta Conquest, Tranex. What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video. Uh, actually, I've been asked uh, quite a few times actually here and there just uh, about some of the equipment that I use. I'm going to just kind of go through my equipment, my rods, my reels, I guess lines, and my main uses for them. Let's go. All right, guys. So let's get into uh, my rods. Um, actually, uh, you know, I was more of a spinning type of dude. Um, and I just kind of started getting into bait casting around this year. And already my equipment has blown up. Uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying it quite a bit. But uh, the first rod that actually really got me into using the Baycaster more was this rod right here. This is the NS Silk Rod 752, medium heavy. And I pair that up with the Shimano Chronarch. And this one is the 151 XG. And I put on a 14 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, this is my just do everything rod. I worm with it. Um, I throw hard baits on it. I throw a bunch of stuff. Uh, everything that's just, I guess, outside of the, call I call it the big realm. And uh, I have other rods for that, but, uh, oh, without this rod, I don't even know if I would have bought more baitcasters. <laughs> but uh, yes, that's the one here. So this one I use just for everything. And uh, I really enjoyed this rod. I do a lot of worming with it more, but uh, you know, you can use a bunch of stuff. And uh, that, I, I feel like that medium heavy gets you to use a big variety of baits. You can use a lot of stuff with this. Um, and so that's what I like this one for. Next up is my spinner bait and crank bait rod. Um, it's not a glass rod, but again, this one is the NS Silk Rod Running Gun 682. Okay. And um, as you guys know, I've caught a lot of fish on the spinner bait. And uh, with a, I feel like once I started using this rod for the spinner bait, it's my confidence has gone up considerably. Um, and I pair that up with the Shimano SLX XT. And this is the 151 HG, and I got 12 pound fluorocarbon on here. Um, and so that's kind of how I use this one. This one's more for a lot, a lot more for moving baits. Um, and that's what I go with. The next rod in that medium, I guess, area is my Shimano X Pride. I actually just got this. Uh, this is the 1610 medium okay and this is my jerkbait rod uh, i love jerkbait fishing and so i honestly just bought a rod for it specifically for it um i put i pair that up with the corrado dc and again this is the 151 hg and i got 10 pound fluorocarbon on here um yeah like i said i bought this specifically for jerkbait fishing uh but it does have other applications I Light warming would work with this very well. Also, I would say like uh, very light top waters. And so that's what I have for this. And uh, one thing I do want to say is that um, in this realm here, I like to keep all of my lines relatively, I guess, in the same area. Um, I plan on changing this one out to a mono line. I would say uh, 14 pound. And what I like about having these reels uh, within this area is um, and the lines within that same area is I can switch out my reel and rod, right? So this can come over here and this guy can go over here and this guy, they can just kind of go all over the place together. And, um, it's good to have a monofilament on there, uh, just, you know, for some top water, even warming is fine with it, but you know, mainly for top water, like light top water. So that's why I want to switch that one out. But these three reels and these three rods, they just kind of alternate with each other based on what the type of fishing I'm doing, right? Next, we go into the heavy category. And um, 
I don't use them that much. I didn't use them that much this year. Um, I would like to use it more. So I'm going to show you my setups here. And um, the first one is this one right here. This is my JS Nix Pops 2. And this is the 712 Heavy. Okay, guys. And I pair that up with the bread, the Corrado K. Okay. Uh, and this is the 201 HG. I got 40 pound braid on here. And um, the reason for that is obviously it's a heavier rod. My main uses for this would be um, jigging top waters, uh, heavier top waters, maybe light frogging. Uh, so that's what this is mainly used for. Next is my Mega Bass Levante F772. And I pair this up with a new reel that I got, it's the Tranex 301 HG, uh, and it's got the power handle, as you can see. Um, again, this is mainly for frogging, uh, Alabama rigs, big swim baits, big glide baits, um, and I plan on putting a probably 80 pound braid on here, uh, and use, I guess, leaders when necessary if, if I need it. Uh, but that's um, one that I just got, and it's got this big power handle on here. Um, something that I guess people were telling me that was an issue with the power handle is that when you go to cast and you cast and this thing goes through, you'll probably end up backing yourself up quite a bit, but thing will not move no matter how fast No matter how fast, put it up here. So this actual power handle was made uh, not to move. So that's the power handle. Stays pretty well when you do the cast. Uh, so that's my one of my newer reels that I got actually. I haven't, had, I haven't even put any line on it yet, but I'm thinking 80 pound braid. The last one I got is, I don't even know if I can show this to you guys out here. Um, it is long, it won't even stand in. <laughs> it will not even stand. Um, oh, I can, it's actually placed this way. Okay, so this is my Shimano Bantam, and this is my 1711 heavy swim bait rod. And I pair that up with, oh, you know what? I'm gonna take this off. It's a it's a grip cut. <laughs> it is long. It is long. 7-Eleven. Um, and I pair that up with the Calcutta Conquest. And this is the 201 HG. And right now what I have on here is a uh, fluorocarbon 25 pound uh, straight shock leader. I would say that this one I use for uh, big baits, big heavy baits. Uh, I am looking to get more into big bait fishing. Uh, heavier baits, bigger stuff. So that's why I bought this one here. Um, she feels very good. I would say this is my most expensive reel and my most expensive rod. Um, so as you can see, I barely used it. It's still clean. <laughs> uh, what I do is depending on what I'm using, where I am and how everything's going, I can change out these, I guess, these reels and rods um, so that you know you get the most effective line and you are open I guess to the best possible setup that you got um, I like to keep braids on on my big ones and add on I guess leaders and this one is just gonna stay fluorocarbon because I just I like fluorocarbon it's just <laughs> it's just me um, and uh, but these are my heavy rods all right, so that that is my setup. I got uh, six. I got six rods, and that's pretty much it. Once you, I feel like once you have that pretty much covered, um, you got a lot of fishing, a lot of different types of fishing you can do. So uh, uh, I feel like you know you buy a rod at the beginning just to do you know everything with, learn things, try different things, see what you like and then kind of specialize your equipment to things that you enjoy doing. And um, that's the general approach that I took. Um, but uh, 
Either way, guys, uh, that's about it for my rod and reel line, I guess, and usage explanation. Um, should be out fishing sometime this week and uh, try and get a video for you guys soon. Um, as always, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys again soon.